helps the other guys to have y'all as, you know, interpreters is the wrong word, but mm -hmm. you can sort of present it to them. Oh, uh, yeah, I think it does help. It does help, and it helps us from a leadership standpoint because when you're on the same page with the coach and knowing what he's looking for and what he want done, how he want done, whether it's um, schematically or um, if you need more from a certain particular group or guys, whatever it may be, and that means we had a discussion and we address it as the week goes on. How much back and forth is there? Is it mostly Dean saying this is what we're doing or, or is it a lot of y'all saying, you know, explain this or what about this? Or? Um, most of him let, let, letting the groundwork, um, the plan out for the week and um, what he's thinking and why he's thinking it. And, but having a, also an um, open mind, open door about if guys feel a way about something. And that's what it's for. He tell us, like, I mean, if we got a question or suggestion about something, if we seen something, just bring it up in that meeting or if it's something that we want done or think it could add to. I mean, it's a, it's a healthy dialogue. He talked about the, his signal call meeting in Baltimore was Suggs and Lewis and mm -hmm. Reed. Reed. Basically a hall, of, a hall of Fame meeting. Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. So um, had a couple of those meetings with them guys myself. So. Talking about Dean or? <laughs> no, just talking about uh, Reed and Lewis stuff like that. So I was just making a joke. But, did, yeah. Did you pick uh, Ray's brain about Dean? Um, I uh, we talked briefly about him. You know, what I'm saying he had nothing but good things to say. And uh, but at the end of the day, you know, um, you know. Coach P's had to make his own judgment about me. I made my own about himself, and we've been working together. It's been fun, and um, I'm excited to continue to grow. You know, as the season continues to go on, got a lot of good football left, and um, just focus on you know present right here with the Falcons. Who else is in that meeting in the rest of the morning? Uh, did Coach P's tell you that? Uh, he probably he'll tell you then. Yeah. How would you describe your defense being kind of a fit Um. Say again? I said, how would you describe the defense being a bend but don't break? I wouldn't describe it that at all. How would you describe it? Not bend but don't break. You know, we're trying to be, do our best. Week in, week out, we improving. And I uh, feel like we got to finish games better. What do you think has led to your play um, this season as far as, you know, being kind of more, you know, just having a great season so far? Um, you know, just always want to grow as a player, you know. Um, and, um, accomplish my goals, you know, personally. And if I do that, be my best, I can be the best for the team. And um, that's, that's really the main focus. And uh, just want to continue to be better. And I know that the best is still ahead for me. And that's the most exciting part, you know. And um, so I'm motivated as ever, you know, to finish strong as ever. Dean talked to us today, he talked about, you know, you, he don't like to use the cliche lead by example, but he said that like, you know, you do a lot of things by example. Uh, what is that, I guess, for you? How is your leadership style? How do you approach it? Uh, I think you said it. Like, um, obviously, first and foremost, I've always been a lead by example type of guy. And um, sure, you can ask my boy Steven, man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, definitely want to be the one to put in the work. You know what I'm saying? I can't ask somebody, something or somebody I'm not willing to do myself. And um, it take an everyday, everyday approach. You know what I'm saying? Can't never take a day off. And uh, that's just that's just my mentality, how I go about it, and, and you know, and uh, I'm I'm inspired to be a you know inspiration to others. So, but it's it's natural, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's me being put in a leadership role or not, every day I gotta come with it. I gotta prepare right, you know, whether it's on the field, in the study room, in the weight room. It take uh, every day. Um, right, last one for Grady. Okay. He talked about um, of course the relationship he had with Henry, Ray Lewis, and the guys in Baltimore. He even said Lewis gave. Was gave you a high compliment when he knew you was gonna work with him. Mm -hmm. How much has the influence was Lewis on you? In general. I mean, just as a, I mean, whenever you got somebody who the best at what they do all time, and they you know, part of your family, somebody close to, it can have a better role model, you know what I'm saying? Especially for me aspiring, you know, to be a great football player at the, you know, in elementary ages, you know what I'm saying? And then uh, just, just was a thing where, um, as I got older and just having support, you know what I'm saying, from him and watching him go be able to watch him, you know, go to his games and stuff like that, go to Super Bowls, you know what I'm saying, be at the game where he got hurt at and make the triumph all the way back to win a Super Bowl, you know what I'm saying? So just seeing stuff like that firsthand, you know, it taught me a lot of lessons about, uh, you know, perseverance, hard work, and um, what it take to be great, you know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, it's just about being your best self. All right, cool. Thanks for Yep.